Alright, so this is my pre-CPI anticipation, price anticipation. So what I'm expecting is price reject here. This weekend volume, I um, mean this weekend open, uh, weekend opening gap. Okay. Um, we do have another weekend opening gap right here, which is why I think this could be heavy resistance hitting into CPI, and I think CPI it just drops through this sell side. That is what I'm anticipating. Okay. Um, I don't see a reason why price would like to return to this area for now for now okay that is my bias and hmm on the 60 minute chart wait just let me take a look at the four hours yeah so the four hours actually failed close above this um new week opening gap for three times and right now it's failing to even touch it right it's having some sort of resistance at the old new week opening gap okay um which is why i think that um it doesn't have to i mean i don't think it's gonna come back up here before that drop all right that's my that's my bias right now right i'm um, heading back to the 60 minutes it has closed below this CB right here so this is a balanced price range and you have a old new week opening gap and this week's opening gap as well so it's very I think it's uh, like heavy walls are stacked against the price at this area here which is why you see this type of reluctance to get above okay and yeah i don't think we um, we're gonna have this entry right here it would be best if we could but very unlikely right now so what i'm thinking is that at 8 30 they will just jam the price down the sell side and i think it's gonna be a market maker buy model up into this area or back into this new week opening gap okay that's um that's what i'm anticipating Okay, so I'll just draw a path, right? Some consolidation around here and then drop. And after that, market maker buy model up. Okay, that's what I'm anticipating. Ignore the time frames. I'm just um, giving you the framework of what I'm expecting. All right. And because we are overall in consolidation, I do not see a further um, further acceleration of drop right below this sell side here that's what I think it's gonna happen might not but that's what I think okay um, below this sell side we have this sell side right here sell side liquidity okay so I'm not sure if it's going to overextend, but <laughs> what I'm thinking is this is the highest probability, so I'm just using this level here. Okay. And of course, I'm always prepared for scenarios like if it accelerates, then I will be looking for a, a market structure shift on the weekly, but I highly doubt so, right? Because when I look at the dollar, it's getting very weak on the daily chart okay very very weak right took out the swing lows here closed below so right here this candle should act as a breaker okay so this should be the breaker right breaker entry shorts into this lows here so if if dollar does not respect um this weekly balance price range then i think es i mean equities other assets that are denominated in usd is gonna go higher and yeah overall i'm neutral on dollar 
right it has um, achieved the objective of this relative equal highs even though it has left this area open right i think it could be for a future objective but right now i do not see it coming back up here anymore right because as you can see there is a market structure shift right here okay um, what will invalidate this idea is that if price is able to close above this breaker then maybe maybe i would um i would entertain the idea of heading back up into this area and maybe into this level here but right now i'm more focused on this weekly balance price range and this lows here okay that's what i'm um looking at right now so having said that es it's moving in the same direction as the dollar on daily right dollars going down es is going down as well so at some point they are gonna revert back to the norm and norm meaning that they're gonna have a inverse correlation not a symmetrical correlation okay so i'm expecting this to be a stop hunt right this liquidity here i think massive liquidity is under this area here okay um let's take a look at the the one with the continuous contracts all right so massive liquidity below here this area here right um players or traders who are long right definitely trail the stop losses all the way down here so this is their I think their last line of defense before the market goes bearish right because when it takes out this low here technically it's a market structure shift but um, it's not a, it's not a confirmed shift yet okay we'll have to see how the price close to determine that right and on this chart right here it doesn't have that daily CB right here which is why I'm right now unwilling to to entertain that the price is gonna go up there before coming back I mean before attacking this sell side here so I think that's why I'm I have that um, idea that price is gonna drop it down straight away and we'll see how far it goes it can drop up to here we have relative equal lows down here or maybe even the sell side right um no uh how should i put it no guarantees yeah right um something came up that's why i paused the video and went away and i think i lost track of where i was saying but I'm thinking that we might have a chance to get a April May top. I'm looking forward to that, right? Because um, this quarter it's obviously a consolidation. I'm looking for an expansion quarter, which is usually around this period here, right? As you can see, last year April May, this was the time. I mean, the quarter whereby we had an expansion market profile so i'm looking i'm really looking forward to that and if they leave this lows and it will be even better right if it fills up this i mean takes out this high here leaving this lows <laughs> that would be the best case scenario so a maybe a smt here smt across the equities here and then we dump it back down I think that that's the best case scenario that I can think of right now for that um, for that trend right and I think that's it for this video